Lesson 2, Unit 1, the project planning phase. We're going to start this lesson with a very simple quote. Plans are useless, but planning is essential. What it means is that developing a plan is not enough. The conditions in the field will change, and that is why it is important to constantly plan and replan and adapt the project plan to the changes in the context. In the project cycle, the planning phase receives input from the initiation and adapting phases and then provides input to the implementation phase. The planning phase of the project management cycle begins once the project initiation phase and its major components are completed, but there's no need to stop working on the planning phase to start some implementation activities. Here's a representation of the amount of work that occurs in the planning phase, and you can see that it takes a considerable amount of time and effort before we begin the implementation. It overlaps implementation, monitoring, and adapting phases. This is a phase that doesn't receive enough attention in development projects. Most projects will begin the implementation using only information from the project proposal, and that creates a lot of risks, especially when there has been a long time between the time the proposal was created and the project has started. The purpose of the planning phase is to allow the project team the opportunity to focus exclusively on the development of our plans. In this phase, the project manager and the project team, along with the support from key stakeholders, will develop all the detailed project management plans. This is a process that is owned by the project team. They are going to be discussing the methods, methodologies, techniques, the use of different templates and different forms to start organizing their work to implement the plans. The planning phase includes the following six steps. The definition of the planning approach, the development of the core plans, the development of the support plans, the development of the monitoring plans, the integration of plans and the change control, and the approval and communication of the plans. Here's a flowchart that shows all the steps in the planning phase. It starts by defining the planning approach, then with the team and the project manager, they start developing the core plans that focus on the project constraints. Next is the development of the support plans, then the development of the monitoring and evaluation plans. Next, it will be the responsibility of the project manager to ensure all plans are properly integrated and a change control process is implemented. Then, all the plans need to be reviewed and approved. This is an important step because it helps build an element of quality and make sure that the project is not missing anything important. When that is complete, then the project plans are ready to be communicated to all the people who are going to be involved with the project. To end this unit, here's another relevant quote. No plan ever survived first contact with reality. No matter how good your plans might be, when you start implementing them, you will find that there are going to be changes in the context. There are going to be some assumptions that were different. You need to analyze the changes in the context and identify what modifications you need to make in your plans. Your plans need to reflect what is happening in the field. You need to adapt your plans to that new reality. 